five at four. This is eight news now. For our parent company, Nexstar's Founders Day, we chose three nonprofits to bring attention to. And anchor Kirsten Joyce will take a closer look right now at how donations change the lives of seniors in our community through Helping Hands of Vegas Valley. I've worked it 43 years at the Flamingo. Clara Blackwell retired from work 13 years ago to help raise her three grandchildren. One went to college and I have two more. One is in the 12th grade and the other one is in the 8th grade. It hasn't been easy on a fixed income. She needed help, which she found through Helping Hands of Vegas Valley. Helping Hands assisted with food. Sometime um, they would have clothing on there. Oh, this is kicking. All right. Everything has gone up. And when you're on a fixed income, it's hard to make ends meet. And so it helps out tremendous. There are five programs through Helping Hands to assist the less fortunate in our community. The Pantry Program, which benefits clients like Clara, helps seniors age 60 and over with deliveries to their home. We know that we can't sustain the entire month, but we're hoping that we can at least provide some sort of um, relief when it comes to food and paper products. Each month, volunteers bring more than 20 pounds of non-perishable food and 10 pounds of fresh produce to each of the seniors. Throughout all of our programs, we do need um, funding because we have seniors that we would like to get off the wait list. We want to be able to serve more seniors. They also need volunteers like Clara, who, while on the receiving end, has been paying it forward for the past decade, volunteering at Helping Hands of Vegas Valley. Any place that gives you, you want to give back, and I will continue to give back as long as I can. Helping Hands of Vegas Valley also offering respite care, transportation, home repair, and nutrition mm -hmm. programs. Such great work by all the volunteers from yes. here at Channel 8. You might have seen investigator Kyle Payne in the background there as Kirsten was working. So we thank everyone here for their work and of course all the donations you can still make online on 8newsnow.com. All of our volunteers in the community as well and like you said all the people who have donated already. So great really work. A great day to give back and don't go anywhere. We will have more on 8 News Now at 5 o'clock with Brian Loftus and myself.